Okay, today I've got something new to show you and you've never seen this before on my channel and I'm really excited to finally be able to show this to you. Let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Ant Keeping Depot. Click on the link in the description to check out their website. So what could be hiding in this setup? Now I've had this queen for quite some time and I've just been trying to leave her alone, not disturb her and let her settle into a new environment. But I think it's time to share it with you guys so you can see what I've managed to get. There she is hiding under the red shield. Let's have a closer look. Well, any idea what we've got here? It's a lone queen, quite a rare species. Yep, it's a trapjaw queen, Odontomachus ruficeps. So beautiful, beautiful queen. I'm so happy to finally have a trapjaw queen in my collection. Now let's hope that she lays, lays some eggs. And now we're just coming out of winter here in Australia. So it's starting to warm up in spring. So hopefully that means that we'll start to get some eggs being laid. Beautiful species of trapjaw ant here. You can see the different colors there. Well, let's, we'll have a closer look at her shortly. So I've had her for quite some months, got her probably at the beginning of winter. So I've just uh, put her away, left her alone, and trying to just let her settle into her new environment. So I've given her an empire of ants outworld, just a little one to walk around, a little bit of sugar water, a little bit of protein with that as well. And yeah, just to leave her alone. And I've given her a Waitong nest with a bit of sand. Um, they need some substrate to spin their cocoon. So I wanted her to feel nice and at home within the little Waitong founding nest from Oz Ants, which is beautiful. Now where's she going? She loves being out here under the uh, plastic foliage and hiding and exploring. But look at those jaws that are there at the front. Now, this is one of the quickest movement of any invertebrate. Um, I understand those jaws just snap close real quick. Let's have a closer look. Here she is, up nice and close. We've got that reddishy black head the rest of the body is black. Those jaws at the front there, they're to the towards um, the center and they will open right up to 180 degrees and they can snap shut extremely quick. Now if you haven't seen any videos on them, there are a few videos uh, on YouTube about the trapjaw ants and they can use that to snap shut on prey or they also use it as a defense mechanism and they can snap it shut and um, spring backwards away from danger. So they're pretty fascinating and interesting species of ant. Absolutely beautiful. I'm glad I finally got hold of one of these. Now this is one of the slightly larger species of uh, trap jaws. So it's good. I like the bigger ants. But look at those colorations. She is absolutely beautiful. Now you can see that the thorax and the abdomen are not very big. Um, these are semi-claustral species. So that means they have to leave the nest to forage and look for food in the founding stages before their first workers or nanitics um, turn up. So it's gonna be interesting to see the little journey with this queen and hopefully we'll have some eggs being laid soon and be able to follow the journey of this queen. But just absolutely amazing. And I love these macro shots where you get to have a good close up look at the ants. The eyes set right forward so they can keep an eye on things with the, uh, with the jaws right there be nice to see her open up those jaws so I can show you guys as well. Very slim, slender body, um, quite a timid ant. Now these are generally found in the hotter regions of Australia, very uh, common to be found in Western Australia, WA, um, in the deserts and that sort of thing. So I'll try and keep her nice and warm in this environment. So she's got the nice white on nest that she can be in. Beautiful, well, it's gonna be a nice journey. Well, I'd like to thank my Patreons for supporting the channel, making these all possible, these videos. So thanks to Medical Carcass 9, Ants 3D, John Redwood, and William Bass, and my other Patreons for supporting me. Thank you. If you would like to support the channel, head over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Novo Ants, and you can uh, choose from the different levels and the different perks that come along with those different levels as well. So thank you very much. Now please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to this channel give the video a thumbs up up the top you'll see a video that's recommended for you by youtube and down the bottom one that i've chosen that might be really handy you might really enjoy thanks again and happy ant keeping